Good. Alright, let's go. So as it, it says five attempts. This is the fifth attempt, kinda not really at this route, but it's the fifth, like low spell general attempt, more I think. I think I've only done like two finish attempts in the past, but I've done some more of all, like older routes. There was like the 33 spell route. I think it was the first one. And then I don't remember what was the other that I finished. I think I finished another one and I guess I'm not sure. <laughs> I probably did. Like one with like Edward Skip, I would assume. I could not see beyond. So everything's gonna be the same up to Anthony. This is just gonna be your ed your everyday early game until that. It's gonna look like the any percent of the other day too. Just your normal pies. See how many fast pickups we get. Yeah, I managed to kill Pius yesterday during the night offline. Like the other day I failed seven times. And it's funny because even as the experienced player I am, there's still things I forget to do and forget to exploit. And I was totally forgetting to exploit the hitbox, the damage hitbox of Pius. Putting Alex on the correct side when TI attacks. Because he, his hitbox starts on one side and then it goes to the other, kinda. So it's easier to... To avoid from one side. I don't remember which side. If I see it, I'll remember. But I can't tell you right or left right now. <laughs> But I know which side it is when I'll see it. I I hope. I think I know. <laughs> so doing that yesterday, I was able to get a more clean no hit bias. And then the end of the fight is much more manageable. Oops. What do I... There you go. I cannot say what was the true beginning. Nor am I... Well, yeah, mid-game, it's kind of alright. On this... Late-game is rough.
Like after Peter, thing things get nasty. With the back in time and I guess some of Edward, especially Michael. And then the end. Uh whatever, I'm I already did this. <laughs> I'm already here. Beginner strats. A lot of these will look like beginner strats because of the lack of spells. And I guess Roberto, if you're going for optimal strats, Roberto is nasty too. But I'm not doing op optimal strats. I'm just watching edges to edges on Roberto. Fuck the other strat. <laughs> Don't really care about time here. Being a challenge run. I, I care a little bit. You know, I'm using splits. But just finishing this is a statement. Yo, no, no. Thank you for the good luck. How's it going? Everything looking fine on Elia. I'm alright. Did some cleaning today in dinner now. Nice. I did some cleaning yesterday. And holy shit, there was like, you know, since I changed rooms. I've been trying to get rid of some stuff. It's usually what happens when you move stuff. You find out all the stuff you have. And all the garbage you have. And especially when you have some like hoarding um, stuff. <laughs> Which is a thing of my family and of myself. I got like a lot of documents. Just old documents from like school even. And I don't really need them. Like <laughs> got rid of so much stuff. Like a lot of those stuff now you have it online. I also have a lot of like notebooks and drawings and art from young age like very young age even a lot of them I, I didn't get rid of but I did get rid of some like just useless notebooks like I don't know this math or language 
notebook that I, I'm, I'm just never gonna use and it doesn't have anything special like I, I usually review the last pages of notebooks which is the place where usually when I were in class and I was bored I would go to the opposite side of my notebook oh come on you know the last pages and start like drawing stuff or writing things like a comic or whatever, or a joke for someone else. Research, it is apparent that the so I save those, you know, I cut those pages, save them in a folder, but then the rest is, is just your average preschool notebook. There's nothing like useful there. I know that stuff. Work. Even a routine clean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you have to move stuff, and when you move stuff, you realize, oh, there was this thing behind this piece of furniture. And you're like, no, but maybe I'm gonna use it one day. Maybe I'm gonna show it to someone else one day. I do like to have my some pieces of art. I want to de digitalize them too at some point. I did with some, like the the Ragnarok stuff. I scanned them because that way I, I could color them too. Because I suck at like real life coloring. Digital coloring also suck, but not that much. I, I can't like defend myself on that <laughs> With like pixel art and stuff <laughs> Nothing professional but decent But when it comes to like real life pencils, holy shit, I suck. I am so bad Yeah, exactly yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, I actually had some fun moments with, like, friends showing them all stuff. Because some of those stuff, I, I did it for them in the past, or with them. Like, this funny joke we just wrote on, on a notebook or something. About a t-shirt or whatever. Give me your sword. The sword you weren't brave enough to use. Okay. So here, here comes the first... No spell. <laughs> first... Spell skip. You and which sword? I guess you, yeah. So we go down all the way down one more, and watch this. Where this is the first edges to edges we're gonna see. Get used to this cutscene. To You're gonna love it at the end of this run. Waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels, and it's just war, Edward talking. You don't, you don't even see the actual cutscene. Knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make it. It's about a. Uh, People like Michael Edwards. It's like 47 seconds. Fighter, hired to I think. To the 46. The of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. There you go.
and that is external frame buffer and that allows you to get here the guy won't get there Anthony gets there then the bitch gotta get in So Edges to Edges has this weird property changing from an in-game cutscene into a pre-render cutscene and yeah it buffers uh, this external thingy, I don't really know how it works but if you skip the cutscene during that transition and it's not a frame perfect or anything you actually have a lot of frames to do it but the earlier you do it the better the more time you have you can move in cutscenes uh just just kidding similar to free cast this was actually the first method to move in a bunch of cutscenes the problem is it's kind of slow It's also a way to do Edward skip. But we won't use it. Uh, yep. Because we need a dispel anyways. Before Edward skip. Got the storage. Not sure about that. Okay, now it worked. And yeah, you can do that like fairly slow, like that, and you're still saving a bunch of time compared to save and load strat. That horse keeps saves a lot. Okay, since this is no CS, I have no way to go to the second floor. With CS, you can teleport. Here, gotta do a spell. And I actually forgot to do magic. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Never mind. So, first spell. There you go. Yeah, we won't have magic <laughs> shown during the run because we did no spells on Anthony. So magic's never gonna be shown. Not that it matters because we barely do spells. So I still kind of like the save and load strat more for Madison's, for example. I think it's cooler. Yeah, like it, it's. It has this thing about doing like a long sequence. So it kind of looks like magic. The other one, unless you are like familiar with the game and you remember actually what happens there, you know that there is a fight and all that. You you can't even tell that something's going on. So it's it's kind of harder to have the hype, unless you are like really familiar with the game and even with the run because the other strat is it's actually hard. <laughs> It's like a hard strat. So if I see a runner doing it successfully, fast, it's like, holy shit, that's hype. The other one is super scripted. But for an average viewer, the other one's probably more hype. Plus in marathons, it gives you a free save. In case something goes wrong later. Because I at least save a lot of marathons on this game. I save like 10 times. <laughs> I 
I am not really a, a war wrecker marathon. Like, a, some runners are the kind of runners that have, like, the personality. I feel like it's almost like a personality thing that you would go for a war wrecker run attempt in a marathon. I just cannot do that. For me, the fear of failure is, is too big on, on the big spot, on spotlight. Yes and no, it depends. I, I think I really, that's why I say it's a personality thing, because I mean, of course, it's, there is a limit, you know, you won't go for a war record on Super Mario Bros. Oh, Edward Skip. Okay. <laughs> Edward Skip, what is Skip? Selomiga, how are you doing? Nice. <laughs> but, like, there's some games that actually have, like, fair development, like... Like, I don't know, like, hybrid heaven development, maybe. Or even more than that. That is a game I will not attempt a war record on a marathon. But I'm I'm thinking like yeah this works. Where like Gumbolt. I feel like Benka is like it's a Chilean runner that I, I really admire. He's pretty good. He's the kind of personality that can go for war records on marathons. Because he's so fucking good. And his games have a fairly amount of optimization. It's not like I f those are free free runs or anything. Ram Dao. So that's why I say I really think it's a personality thing. With the exception of like games like Super Mario Bros. where it's literally impossible to have war record in a marathon, you know? Like there there is a limit. <laughs> Uh, you. So I need to finish these fuckers. Doing good, how about you? I'm doing alright. Just doing this sub goal. Gotta do it one day. You made this happen. You made me suffer. With this category. One, two. Uh, actually, I won't do this. We'll do it after the cutscene. I don't want to fuck up. Like, that looked pretty alright. But I'd rather just don't take the risk. Because that cutscene can interrupt the spell. And we don't want any extra spells. So I think that's spell number three. I didn't do anything. <laughs> all right, all right, fair enough. Now it was a general Jew. I wasn't talking to a specific person. Uh, I need a trapper. You, the people, you know, you know. Proud of it too. <laughs> Not the suffering part. Okay. How are you doing, Cosmic? Todo es justo de nuevo, yeah. Everything's fair. Give me a red. Give me a red. There you go. So we get full health here. So I can survive the barrier fight. With mm, um, no spells. Run over because I, I run into a trapper. <laughs> Got a reason now. Doing great, nice.
Yeah, and I bet maybe you can move here too with HS to HS, but that that would be so slow. And like fight behind the barrier with no spells. Ooh, good luck with that. Oh, that's good. Don't cast anything. So we wait here until they explode. He summons the next wave. And I just have enough here. And I can kill this bounty if I want. So, just enough sanity to survive the horror. Even without that, you're fine. You're also still fine. Wherever disaster and death lurk. Looks up today, I can't think of a single improvement. I see. Yeah, like, there has been... A lot happened since the last, like, um, improvement, I guess. <laughs> but a lot of it requires doing spells. You know, all the jar stuff, things like that. Return to boss, whatever. Oh no. See you on the next stream, I guess. Just kidding. Doesn't matter. We can't do a spell to a spells to avoid that. <laughs> Gotta do a spell here though. Number four, I think. You can put the, the spells I do on your your notebook. All right, Max. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention. We're grab the saver. See an extra sanity effect. And get an extra phase on the Guardian. So it's not that different. Okay, not entirely sure about this movement, but I'm gonna take the the gamble. It looked alright. I wasn't close enough. You know, it's very cool. You get to Kareem, and you get to hear uh, the, the Dream of Forever for a while. But then you get to Max, and you can't really hear Black Rose very much. Kind of sucks. You just get this part immediately. Lurking Horror. Is this a good angle? Yeah, nice. Yeah, fuck, fuck your jump scare. I gotta open a letter.
Okay, so we don't have an enchanted gun, and that's why I'm going for the saber. That wasn't from behind. Sucks. Oh, this fight is gonna be bad. Yo, thank you. Sinistar start for the raid. Welcome to the street. Coming Cine bumps. Nice. Okay, lady is going for me. Um, gone. Uh, hopefully this doesn't get cancelled. If she gets too close, I do free guess. No, it's fine. Key. So is that number five or six? Spell number five or six? Love this game. Nice. It's a great game. Welcome to the stream. How's your stream? Okay, we got the dead ski. And then, again, fling locks are not enchanted, so they're slightly weaker. Stream was great, nice. Here's the guardian. Usually Guardian takes four shots. This one's gonna take a little bit more. Which also means an extra phase. Okay, where are we going? Good. Let's see, how fast is this teleport? That's pretty good. No. I got jivated. I thought I heard it. Stopping. On 80% we can cast. Uh, recovery at the end of that chapter to prevent the sanity effect that would play here on 80%. We already saw it here on the previous chapter, so it doesn't even show up. Uh, I didn't assign that. I just cast it. I guess. Well, let's cast it again. I don't need it assigning it for later, so whatever. I guess it's the fear of casting an extra spell. The ancient's influence was incredible. From all right, Lindsay. Lindsay can get a little bit tricky on some spots. You have to manage your sanity to avoid a very long sanity effect at the end of the chapter, more or less. Uh, it's gone good. I don't remember. Let's just go gone. Yeah, gone's good. Yeah, Alexa, how's it going? Thank you for the good luck. I'm gonna need it. You more than anyone else knows how much luck I need at the end of the run. Your channel points know it. Die. 
die potato. No. How's the run so far? It's doing fine. Are the vines the only particle overloads in this run? Yeah. Fortunately, yes. Actually, just one vine. Because we do Edward. To avoid the other vine. It's just Michael Bine. Before the Edward flag, we used to to use that also for Bine, attack barrier, and maybe something else on Alex. I don't remember. Yeah, and I, like I said before, I actually haven't tested Particle Overload on console, I think. Like, I, I don't remember doing it on any stream. That was probably slower than just waiting for an unlock. <laughs> So let's hope it works. And when I say it works, it definitely works. But I don't know if it will crash before, you know? Like before reaching the amount of the desired amount of particles. That could be a possibility on console. Going extra safe there. Roar. Roar. Fuck you. So I'm killing Mantrox because it's fairly hard to kill them. You can just use the gun. This gun is fairly like strong. It does 10 damage, which is a lot more than Revolver deals that like six, I think. So you actually kill Mantrox on one shot if you attack them on the body. It's like the Tool War basically. It's a ranged Tool War. And the finishing animation is super fast too. So that's an easy way to recover some sanity. And here I use the reload for stamina. I still need a little bit more, but we're gonna get that killing this one. Ignore this couple. Huh. 
Remember me, Alex. This can't be happening. Time to sneak. And I actually have a lot of sanity. I'm probably fine. I'm gonna finish one for good luck. But this sanity looks insane. Well, the other way around, actually. <laughs> looks pretty sane. Yeah, if you have less than 25% here, that's a problem. I, I, I can just go to the end with this, yeah. Otherwise, I would finish, like, a couple mantrax there. The traps. Hello, zombie. How are you doing? Tiny sneak there for those blades. And then some sneak around here. It's a good amount of insanity to have. Oh yeah, I need more sneak on this. A little bit more. Fuck you. Okay. That's accurate, because I'm playing our CRT. Can't believe I got caught by that. Hopefully that's not low HP. Oh, it's just barely not low HP. Incredible. Probably have like 41. With 40 being low HP. So Lindsay about to get tired. I forgot one split. The B3 and Mantorog. That should be on like... Right after you see the Edward cutscene. I'm probably gonna forget the one on Paul too, who knows. Time for error skip. And just to be safe, yeah, that's this bill. Okay. So you do the dispel while moving. And then you enter match cutscene, dispel cutscene. Allows you to move in match cutscene. And there's no collision during max cutscene on the on that place. And you might be wondering, but you can skip that with Ashes to Ashes, right? Yeah, but we still need to get to Paul. So we still need that D spell. During the time of the Inquisition. And it's just faster to use that D spell there. Or that because technically we even like we can't even beat Edward and get the pickaxe. <laughs> Do that normally, but it's faster this way. By the way, you have a rough estimate of how long this run can take. I actually, I don't. I have no idea. I would say more than two hours for sure.
Is this somewhat similar to Hando route? But with no spells. So walking everywhere. No pulls. No fancy tricks. Uh, using spells, you know. It's still a lot of fancy tricks. To, don't, to avoid spells. But most of them are pretty slow. And remember, we're gonna watch Ashes to Ashes. Ten times. We already watched it once. There's nine, nine more to go. Or, or ten more. Is it ten or is it eleven? I don't know. But it's a lot. Plus, I might fail. Plus, Pius is pretty hard. I might just die on Pius and need to redo it over and over. Also, the, the part before Pius is pretty hard. Ah, oh, brother Luther, not a moment too soon. So we'll see. If I had to give a very rough estimate, I would say between two and three hours. The what's the last one? I did um the thirty three spell. I think it was like two and a half hours. But that's a completely different round, of course. No, don't pause. Why do we always pause there? There's no reason to pause. Like, I'm, I'm trying to skip the, the crossbow cutscene. Even though it's not a cutscene. Evidence, bolts. Lots of sneak on this chapter. So for those who don't know, there is a spell called Magic Pool that you can use to recover stats. Use the key, please. Constantly, like you recover one stat per second. And you can do like health pool, a magic pool, a sanity pool, etc. And health pool in particular, also every second recovers full stamina. So if you cast, if you walk around with a pool, you can run forever. But if you don't have access to spells, you you have to manage your stamina and sneak from time to time. The sneaking recovers more stamina than walking. Okay, old school Peter. I mean, uh, Anthony. There you go. No spells in between. Fail one at a cancel. It's funny, it really feels like failing an L cancel on melee. It's almost the same feeling. It's so funny. Uh, I actually want the crossbow. It's just the same fucking feeling of missing your combo because you failed one. One L cancel.
So yeah, you're using the crossbow here to avoid a magic attack. Doing the casual strat, I guess. And then adding cancel there. Changing your equipment to cancel not back or any animation really. We'll do it again here. Because you actually do that that attack each time after the U will. And now last piece of evidence. No damage there, interesting. Side corridors. Hopefully I get this damage. It didn't happen, okay. So we'll take this one. There you go. Uh, you. Don't want to take any health damage. Good thing is Paul has the praying. He's blessed with praying. He can just pray and recover sanity. All of it. But just a limited amount of times. We hit that before, so we will kill it there. And then those skills there are one for sanity and two to have that passage like clean up for later. I mean, not for sanity, for stamina. Okay, don't forget the piano this time. He's tired. Sneaking downstairs is optimal and into loading zones. And then here you recover all stamina after this. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. So we are approaching the only spell of this chapter. Not yet, but it, it'll happen. Gonna be a five spell. So I gotta make only one spell. So I guess spoilers. that I 
I'm gonna get caught. Oh, big, big lad. Massive. I haven't checked my sanity actually. I use the meditation rod. Nah, this is fine. This is just fine. I think this one also gives me sanity. I mean, stamina. Yeah, so I I still have at least one sanity for an extra enemy. Because I'm not sure if the Cell of the Horror has looked at me. Now the Bontiff being here, maybe one look at me. Yep. It's too busy. That's the one spell of Paul. At this spell. We have a way around that using a trapper and a no magic message. But I'm counting. Oh, look at that. Means another. Let's just put that there. Whatever. <laughs> Shortest split. But I'm counting cancel spells as spells. For this challenge. The only thing that doesn't count as an extra spell, kinda looks like one, but not, not really, is a free cast. Because you go to the menu of enchant, but you cancel the enchant, you never do it. So it's fine. Ooh. Please. <laughs> just, just grab it. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. Okay, Roberto. So, if you're going for optimal strats, Roberto can be a really hard chapter. Because the optimal strat is doing a extremely hard setup into a two frame window that if you get it too late, you get a game over. And if you get it too early, uh, you just gotta do the hard setup again. But I'm not doing that. I'm not playing that optimal. So instead... I'm gonna do a much, much sm uh, slower strat. But that is more safe. I might steal... Oh, that's kinda bad. I might steal save before it, because... Even that one I can fail it. <laughs> I shouldn't, but just in case. So we cut that head. So our sanity is gonna be exactly at 50. And that gives me bleeding walls. And that prevents other sanity effects. Like, bad sanity effects from appearing. Mm. 
Yeah, just going slow here. Whatever. I guess we can explode one trapper. And death so here's another edges to edges. To be an ancient, just Enjoy it. Our senses, waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient script 40, tightens. 46, 47 lives will be forfeit. Seconds and resources of cutscene. But a few and then I get a window. To press start like Michael Edwards, a Canadian and do, do what I need to do. Hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. There you go. Enter this. And get out of this. And that's it. I survived death. So you trigger the smasher, which normally gives you a, a game over, and also activates a weird state that allows you to hover. You can only gain height, not lose it. Oh, okay. Please, just do it. Fine. Hopefully that didn't waste stamina. <laughs> and also you can go through enemies. Because you're death, you're you're a ghost. But I escaped death. It's it's like having an ank on a Spelunky 2. That that's what, what this is. So then you are able to go to a duet. Instead of just dying when you sacrifice yourself. On an altar. Same thing. Extra spooky, yes. Like, do you think only you were able to beat Ghost Roberto on the Pies fight at the end of the game? No. This is also a place. It's early Roberto Ghost. I hate doing this with <laughs> with the fucking crossbow. I'm I'm chained to the scythe now. The Saif. Now we're 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 going Saif. Didn't realize rolling Roberto was a thing. Yes. Yeah, that saves two spells. It's super important actually. Is this big Roberto? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, gotta find a corner. Where is it? It's kind of there. There you go. And then find that. I think that's it. Good. So I'm floating over this thing. The trigger of this thing is actually fairly... Goes fairly tall. So I need to gain some extra height on a... Like, invisible collision on the corner. To avoid that damage. Yeah, because otherwise you need to do a zombie for the smatcher 
and then a reveal for the the key to get the key so we save those two spells by doing floating and again we have two methods for that that's the cool thing one two, three Okay, I'm gonna farm stamina a little bit. That should be enough. That was a very perfect one. Good. Just walk. Actually, it's lower to sneak with Roberto, one of the few ones. Okay, health is pretty low. <laughs> and then I can go over here, this little space right there. Uh, this is small Roberto, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we can do that with the crossbow. Only only thing that worries me is the crutches. Because that thing crutches if you, like, do some some things, right? I don't remember when it crutches. I think it's when, like, a trap explodes. Or I guess... Any, any damage source will crutch or not. I also never practiced that. I might take a look after the run. If you attack one too many times, okay. So cute, yeah. Every enemy damage source will just not load. Oh, okay. So basically, no attacking doors. The war to end all wars. We defined how mankind. And then, what do we do about the worms? Does the save and load reset the thingy? Because we 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 have to kill the worms to get a survey. Forgot the sneak. Okay, so the lights are a little bit far away on this room. They're still not that far away, I can still turn them off. But I haven't practiced that strat, that real life strat, IRL strat. So I won't do it for this run. I also have to pay attention here. I'm sorry. The memes might die. Okay, okay so... Did I cancel? No, no, I didn't cancel that. I don't have it assigned. Okay. Oof. I thought it was an extra spell. So that's no extra spell. That wasn't just wasn't assigned. There you go. I press Y. Uh, I want to put this in a different spot. Okay, there you go. And I want to recover my camera. There you go. I need this. Actually, I, I just need a trapper to be summoned, but it's good to have it here. So we have exactly... Ooh, I guess not. 
I got sniped. Fuck you. Okay. As soon as we don't get extra enemies, I think I'm fine. I went kind of out of the way there. Because my angle was wrong. So I didn't want to be on the way of the trapper. Because that can be nasty. We gotta summon three trappers on this fucking chapter. Now having less sanity, it's gonna be nasty. <laughs> Nice horror. Uh, it's real. Item. Uh, doesn't matter. Down. Okay. So you get some spoilers of the the spells that will come. Here's one. I need the snake. That is a long paragraph, sir. Now I'm excited to remember how it works, but I think you could do few less damage sources than you need. I might kill this fucker. Just some extra sanity. Like, you, you always need to kill it, but I can finish it there for extra sanity. That doesn't change anything. Now, this is a little bit worrying. Like, oh, also having the bounty here is worrying, I think. Oh, interesting. <laughs> that actually damages it. <laughs> well, that puts it out of the way then. <laughs> cool. Because I was, I was worrying about the bounty body blocking me. Hopefully it doesn't happen, let's see. Yeah, how lucky I am. Look at that shit. Holy shit. Now let's pray that that zombie right there is not an extra object. No. Sing, thanks. It's all skill, yeah. The luck skill. My luck stat is pretty high. That's what it is. If that killed it. <laughs> Do you not kill that trapper on purpose? It doesn't matter. That trapper is not part of the route. Kill any... Ooh, did I just load that again? 
Uh, what do we do here? Fuck. I think if I load a third time, I'm fine. Shit. I'm gonna gamble on a third time. Oh, hopefully I didn't fuck that up. I forgot that the the cursor is reset. Please work. Like I, I did an extra load to adjust the slots. Hopefully that works. <laughs> I think that's how it works. <laughs> Otherwise, it's over. It's just over. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, good. The backup, the knowledge. See, that's why having knowledge of the game is useful. Ah, nice. Let's go. So is that the backup? If you accidentally load... Yeah. I mean, maybe it's just fine if you go for it. But I have the feeling that it's lots... Like, every time you save, every time you load, the slots change. And so to align the slots again, I feel like you gotta do an extra one. If you fuck one up. So at least that that's works. Maybe you don't need it. If, if someone reminds me, I can check out after the run. And see if you actually need the extra save after fucking up. But yeah, I, I did it like that because it, it felt right. Like, this makes sense in terms of what I remember from the memory, you know? Pretty sure I just went for it once and it didn't work. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I think I remember that on one of your streams. Okay, so we got Michael there. And we're gonna use the Lucky Penny. Alex gonna disappear for one frame there. That's intended. There was no glitches there. So you can see that casually. I'm seeing that casually now, because this is a console. Now we go upstairs. For the pain. One of the many pains. We're gonna open this shit. We're gonna sit here, save one time, in, just in case, and watch this. Wherever disaster now we need and death lurk, there is likely to be my chronometer just beyond our senses. Because I don't want to use the timer of the run. Prey on our I need something very exact and, and that I can see while I see when the screen. Of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. I need to press start people like three Michael seconds after the last firefighter um, to put an end to the insanity at the end the last of the subtitle war. disappears. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. First try. Uh, Legacy of Darkness. Yeah. Holy shit. Good thing I practiced before the <laughs> the run. <laughs> 
So depending on how good you are at pressing that exactly three seconds after the last subtitle, uh, you have a lot of frames to work with. I think it's like 13 or 15 even. That window decreases the farther away you get from the three second strat, you know? But it, it's a pretty reliable strat. I like it a lot. And it, it's funny that we actually use subtitles for something, you know? <laughs> They're actually used somewhere. That's a visual cue here. No, I, I'm pretty sure I can use that. Okay, bullets. Gotta get the saver, the revolver too. And go to the vampire. I could have saved before this, but I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna pray that everything's gonna be alright. Because the vampire sequence can can get nasty. Having no spells means no recoveries on Edward. Boom doesn't have a whole lot of HP. So Vampire is here. But it's invisible, and we can't do anything to see it. You just gotta fight like this. One, two, three, four, five, and watch a cutscene. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is like. I save you. Thanks. So watching that cutscene prevents you from watching the normal cutscene, which is the Bombard cutscene. Which takes a little bit more. Uh, not yet. So we get the Elefanto gun. And now we're gonna put this guy in a very specific position. I think it's here. Is it here? I have here a picture. No, that's wrong. Okay, so it's it's the same square but looking towards this way. Around there. Maybe the timer stopped a little bit there because I, I minimize it. Why I was looking for the picture. So, get a here. There it is. It's gonna attack me. Ooh, he actually took sweet time to attack. I haven't seen that one. Could have attacked before getting the hit myself. That's phase two. If you don't get into this place and you don't interrupt the path of the vampire, it's gonna go up and just completely ignore you. And that actually sucks.
And yeah, then he's waiting a minute for the next phase. Usually we do something else here when we have spells. We prepare for the next phase. So we can be like completely just buff for the next part of the vampire and kill it faster. But here, nope. Just, just gotta wait. We have the elephant gun at least. Does something. I also forgot to split on the cutscene restore. Look at that. Missing all my splits. Guess I wasn't expecting to get that, like, first try. No, dude. Do it. Two bullets. Thanks. Okay, so this is here. No way to avoid this one. Actually, it was this. One, two, three. Now I need two savers. One. Two. That's really bad. Uh, I want a clean shot. Ah, oh, really? Please don't hit me. Oh, whatever. This is like the worst health ever. Oh yeah, I, I guess he recover HP. Okay, this end guy is gonna suck. Like, if I get damage once, this, this is gonna be super painful. So, just in case. Just chilling, yeah. Okay, remember this one. Oh yeah, dude, don't recover any stamina during that stupid cutscene. Because you're frozen. Sucks. First one is nine. It's actually harder to see the numbers on this TV. <laughs> I mean, it's the same TV, but with this light, slightly different lighting. I'm fine doing this part slow. I really don't want that damage. Okay. The whore is so big, he actually has a hard time hitting you. That is not a mistake. I just went back to ca fuck to cancel a spell here. Where's the other? There you go. 
So, out of bullets, I'm gonna have to kill the next one. With elephant gun or get lucky. Like, I think it's out of my path. Looks kinda out of the path. So, it might be alright. Gonna need this for later, probably. I could use it here if I had bullets for swag, but no swag this time. Sorry. Actually, I can totally have a bullet there, now that I think about it. Because I can reload for stamina. Maybe I should route that. So we get the swag in the route. This one hit me. The other chopper. Okay. Let's reload here. So I think I'm gonna be extra careful with these horrors. Next time I see them. Yeah, just shoot. Good. Some trappers here. And I have a gun. Hopefully I don't need to... To use target. Oh yeah, I have a mode too. That's what happened. Okay, that's good. So unlike the very old Edward of any percent, we don't get scary noises. The whole Edward Enga. This because we need the sanity. So otherwise we're gonna get health damage from vision. 
and we're just gonna die and also get slow but especially die eighth now if I actually if I get low health I can use a trapper so it's not the end of the world Now, here's my last rubber. I think. Ooh, okay, let's use a rubber. I thought it was way farther away. <laughs> no? Give me a red. I'm already here. I might as well just use it. Please. Come on. It's usually on that spot, but I got confused because I... The first time I was there, it sounded like it was on a different spot. But it is usually on that spot. It just got me debated. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's three trap, but that's what it... Okay. That's what's going on. You know, I've been playing this game for so much. And I had no idea there was an extra trapper there because I always use magical attack on that room. You know, on every other Kateri. Or. So yeah, that was the trapper I was thinking of. That that one sounded differently on a different spot, so I thought it was that one. The other one wasn't even singing. The one that caught me. Nice time to get drunk. gonna summon a zombie five so another drop around five Zombie vision. Another zombie vision. That was scary. Because I, I got tired. Just there. Like, I don't think that would kill me, but it would leave me, like, super low health, if you're Edward. A Mantrok might kill me. Mantrok 7. Mantrok. Just on one shot, maybe. Okay, Red Horror is about to die. I'm just walk around this one. So we get a couple of scary noises. No, actually, we don't. We don't need to. Never mind. It's just one left. 
and I, I don't even interact with the next guardian. They're not scary noises at all. Isn't that great? Just in case. No, actually, I, I don't need that. We're gonna get this. There's actually no second chances. Okay, so Trapper here. This allows me to pause during this cutscene. Bargain. Okay, so here... Watch a cutscene. And then... We're gonna... L I'm gonna save just in case. <laughs> this one is for safety, but I don't need to. And then we're gonna go... Uh, which one? It should be this one. This one should be a restore, I think. Because it's like a minute after. Yeah, okay. So that's a restore. You are not free to leave this plane. So that teleports me here. And this gives me what I need. Dogs! There is, like there is dogs sometimes. On my stream. Holy shit, they're going mad. <laughs> Can't even do my commentary. It's a sanity effect. Fucking neighbor. So you see those dogs are from the neighbor that I have next to my my old room Okay, so those dogs They were normally on the stream a lot Because they're pretty close to the other room The fact that we are hearing them now means my fucking never just let them out He does that a lot He's let the dogs out and like, they just stay on the street. He doesn't even take care of that, like... Like, he taking the dog out for, for a trip or something. No, 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 he, he just let them out and he forgets about it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But yeah, so here we did back in time. So, we complete Edward. And then... Like, we spent two spells on Edward. Only to get a flag of completing Enga. Then we do a restore. I mean, the restore we did it before with Alex. So we do back in time, we load Alex to before Edward. We teleport into the Edward part that we just wear. Ooh. I, I don't like that. Okay. And keep the the flag for Enga. Extra zombies. So that allows you to skip Enga. So reveal here. I'll wait for it. Don't need to act back there. Dropper, unavoidable. Get the sandy effect. We're gonna leave the two droppers, it's fine. Okay, here we go. I forgot to equip it. My gosh. I probably also forgot, like, a split.
But it's fine, I have all the time in the world. Wherever disaster and death to a Joseph splits. There is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses. Waiting. They prey on our misfortune. Best part of the run, isn't it? Own twisted ends. Oh, I had this weird when light here. What is this? Set ablaze on the heels of is this war. from the ancient grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit. I and that, that was from the other strong. building. But a few we have second son at this point of the day because there's a building at the other side of the street the that reflects the, the sun. Ironically for him, the Is your favorite part of the run? Interesting. Beginning. That's very good because we're, we watch it a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is one. Disaster and death lurk. Chad, help me counting. One. An ancient just beyond our senses. Waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields nice. are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like yeah, I'm still not Prince, used to lining on this room. Firefighter like during the day, the like insanity at the end of the war. those two windows work Ironically open. Him, if I have the camera on a different spot. Beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses. We yeah, so I have two angles for the camera fortune. because I like this side of my face more. It's just because of that. So one is when I do stuff on the computer screen, like Spelunky or practicing on Dolphin. Things like that. Lives will be Everything that is on the TV screen. Squandered. I mean the um, the PC screen. But a few people make a difference. And then this camera people angle like is Edwards, for the CRT. A Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity. But this room is new, so Ironically I still him, don't know the insanity was just how everything works. One, two, three, four, five, six. This angle looks a little bit weird. Three. Disaster and death lurk. Like I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the angle. Ancient, just beyond our senses, waiting. They pray. Those attacks look a little bit tight. Twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit, and resources. A good moment to put. Glasses. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards. I already have enough time without Canadian glasses. Industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. My eyes start to start to dry. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no, it looks fine. That's four. Wherever disaster and death lurk. There is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses. Waiting. So what's going on there? We are watching this so much. Okay, we just really like this cutscene. That that's it. Own twisted ends. I like it so much. I wanna. I gotta watch it seven times. On the heels of war. That's it. The ancient script. No. Uh. So. Knowing that. Hatches to hatches has this property. And resources. When it changes water. between this in-game part. People make a difference. And the People next like Edwards, pre render part, a Canadian industry where everything kind of gets frozen to to the in the time the a little bit, and then after that, him, everything recovers and you can move on cutscenes and things like that. Give me a second here. I'll do the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's close. That's five. Wherever disaster and death lurk, so to be an ancient while time is frozen. Senses. What I can do is I can they prey on our uh, I can attack the the wall their own and you see ends. every time you attack the wall when there's these little particles set that appear the from the you know the axe hitting the wall tightens, and so since time is frozen kind of we're accumulating more and more squandered. particles 
And that's also why I shoot the barrier before watching cutscenes. I shoot three grenades and with animation cancels so I can accumulate the biggest amount of of particles from the grenades. The insanity was just beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is six. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is and so an ancient you have this external frame sense. buffer that Waiting. it's between these two they prey on our misfortune zones, these two uh, states of the cutscene, and it doesn't last very long. You see, when it lasts just enough, so I can do six attacks war, every time I watch the cutscene before time unfreezes. Because when it unfreezes, all the particles will, like, activate at the same time, okay? I don't want that. I want to accumulate 150 particles. That's what I need. And once I have 150, I can watch a pre-render cutscene, and I'm going to unload the barrier. The insanity was just beginning. One, two, three, four, six. That is seven. Disaster and death lurk. There is um, to be an ancient just beyond our senses. So I think I I have to watch this one. They pray <laughs> on <our misfortune laughs> because I I said one their own twisted end. when we finish the first one or when we start the first one. Fields are set ablaze on the heels of war. Things, let's just watch this. <laughs> let's be safe. <laughs> Extra safe. Worst case scenario, we're gonna crash. <laughs> I prefer to crash than to don't unload the barrier, honestly. Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. <laughs> Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we're gonna watch uh, pre render. So this is gonna unload the barrier. There you go, you see all the particles. And now we gotta kill both horrors at the same frame. Otherwise, this is soft lock. And you cannot continue. Without spells, or even without anything, I, I think you're soft log and, and it's over. So the grenades have a extremely consistent way to kill both horrors at the same frame. You just destroy one arm, then the other of the other horror. It's extremely consistent. I've never seen it fa failing. This on purpose, by the way. I need health. Just a little bit of health. This is just to survive the end. And if I can get some sanity, it's also good. And that's also why I finished the horse. Because it's a big amount of sanity. Because we don't... We're not gonna have a sanity pool. For the... The ending sequence. Okay, pretty sure I actually have this assigned, but I just want to be extra safe, so fuck it. We're just gonna cast it manually. Also, we need to take damage here. Good thing is, Michael is way faster than Roberto. So he won't take that much. But he cannot float. So that's the bad part. So I think that's spell number 18. Which, you know what that means. There's one more. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna ignore that horror. Yeah, a little bit of sanity. Getting grenades. Yes, that is scary. I admit it. But he's safe. You gotta believe me. Why is it scary? Because <laughs> grenades do uh, area damage. And if you actually hit a grenade too close to you, it's fucking 60 damage. Which would probably kill me now. So you kinda shoot out of camera there, but he, you gotta believe me, he's safe. Right. <sighs> and now the final pain. Here we go. Here we go. Alex twelve, we're gonna get to Enga. Light puzzle. Gonna do it the casual way. No fancy teleports. What are you doing? Okay. Now I gotta grab this. Thank you, Michael, for bringing me that. We don't actually know who that is, but I like to think it's Michael. And now the shotgun. Which is not for pies. Like it, we usually use it there. No, this shotgun is for something different. This shotgun is for... Animation guns, those. And I guess some enemies. Just some pawn enemies. Also, hopefully we have Enga's flag. Otherwise, it's over. <laughs> like, I'm not ultra... Ultra sure I have it. I most likely have it. It'll be super rare that I don't have it. Okay, so gotta save and load here. So you can load... I mean, if you, like, watch a cutscene, save and load here. Barriers don't work. And so then we can get to this room. I need sanity. We go full sanity. Okay. 
Okay, and this fucker shouldn't look at me. There you go. So that's full sanity. Now I need to get full health. And maintain my full sanity. So I'm close to full health, but I still need more. I need full, full health. Okay. There's no way around it. And that didn't quite work. Just maintaining my sanity. Ultra safe. Okay. <laughs> okay. So full stats. We're almost ready. For the first boss. Of the night. So, another cutscene. And another save and load. And uh, we're gonna do it here. So, here we do the glitch again. This doesn't just cancel the barrier. It also cancels the damage. Let's go. Nice. Um, Gladius. I am so fucking lucky. And now is the last boss. And you can see the barriers on the background of the cutscene. <laughs> That's because of the glitch. It pre preserves the barriers. But they don't change anything. So now, we gotta fight Pius. Without getting hit a single time. Hopefully. I mean, I can technically get hit one or two times and still get it, but it's really hard. So, let's go. Okay, we got a spell. There you go. Nice artifact. Yeah, and also we need to use this enchant. I enchanted before saving, in case I fail this. So then I save and I have the enchant. Also, this is a slightly glitch en enchant. It doesn't last a minute. It usually lasts more. You can get unlucky and actually it lasts less than a minute. But it, it usually gonna last more than a minute. I mean, two minutes, that's how uh, Enchant actually lasts. Um, but if you enter the Pious fight with the Enchant already, like, casted, it does this glitch state. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the, the attack, there you go. I want to see where he is. It's Max. I don't trust Max. Okay. Hopefully I'm in time. <laughs> okay, it's a relatively good artifact, so...
This is the last hit I need with an enchant. Okay, enchant lasted. If I get Roberto. Let's go. It's still last phase. It's not over yet. That's really good. That's not shield. I fucked that up. You landed more hits. That's a uh, vision. That sucks. No, dude, teleport, please. He's not flinching. He's flinching. Okay, that's good. Dude. Please don't. You gotta flinch. Where are you at? I didn't change the boss. Fuck my life. Ah. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was the first try. <laughs> I forgot to change the boss. <laughs> but why? Like, didn't I say before? Shouldn't I be on on the on the save screen? I'm pretty sure I didn't come back. Oh, that's weird. I'm a little bit confused. Just scroll back to inventory. Fuck. Why you didn't tell me? <laughs> you, you just gotta tell me <laughs> if I do that. <laughs> Oh, that was such a perfect fight, until that. I need to be out of the inventory, because the inventory crashes. And I need to be able to watch cutscenes to avoid magical attacks. Because 7 attack will always hit you. If you're low health, unless you're going down on the stairs. But I, I was in a bad position there. Fuck. All right, just gotta do it again. Same pattern. That was such a good fight too. But what am I doing? Like, I can't spec that to go like first try. Like, come on. That's too lucky. So that's the. Okay, never mind. That is the side. That is easier <laughs> to avoid attacks, but very fucked up, anyways. That side gets the the hitbox later. So this attempt might be dead already. Like I need to get lucky on this one. I didn't wait. I keep forgetting to wait on, on Kareem. I think I can still get it. Yeah, okay. Come on. Okay, that's the vision. Yeah, no. With one attack is enough to to be low health. Okay, fast artifact, I guess. Uh, this might be very useful, maybe if I can trigger a spell. It's like super useful. There you go. Come on, Alex. No more attack. Do it. 
So I think I can survive the vision with this. Just don't get the vision. Oops. You know what? What was that? That was any percent muscle memory. <laughs> yeah, just, just pause and equip the shotgun. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> it was so natural. Like, I, I, I didn't even thought about it. I just did it. I didn't- I didn't change the page. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta beat the other run. At least. I'm actually surprised- wait, this is- I haven't- This is the, like one of the first times I actually look at the- at the timer. This is so fast. Like, I expected this to be way more. Not gonna lie. Gamble, we are on, like, sub-220. And this this might even be sub-210 if you're super, super good at the game. The Spice fight is more than three minutes, yeah. Yeah, actually, Eternal Darkness... Some two hours three. Yeah, you can sub to ten. On low spell. I don't think I'll do it. I just want to finish the round. Just stupid bias fight. Don't enchant. This angle is weird. Please. Oh, dude. Wasting a lot of time there. What is this camera? This time I'll wait for Pius. Because Enchant doesn't advance while you are a ghost, so it's fine to like waste time during that. So we get a free Pius here. And it is usually free, anyways, because of the the spell. I, I don't remember if the spell is like always happens, but it usually happens. Fuck, come on. Please, please. Yeah, you like have you like that having a free free cast? You're welcome. Since I cannot do any spells. Oh, I'm tired. I run too much. Fuck. But at least we reach Roberto, so that's that's kind of alright. Don't pause. Or, or you can pause, but don't scroll back to inventory. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yes. 
sand tag. That sucks. These shields. Teleport. One more. Uh, vision. No more vision, please. He's weak. I'm weak too. One vision will kill me. I wouldn't mind a magical attack here, actually. You gotta die! Die before the vision, please! It's time to die! To 220, let's go. <laughs> oh, good. You see how tight that fight can be? I was like, I don't want to say on one health, but close to one. But the thing is, the health I had was enough to kill me. Everything will kill me at that point. An attack or any vision, which might randomly happen out of bias. Mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. Nice. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But there so was yeah, so remember, you made me do this. And so much to do. This was a sub goal incentive. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. <laughs> this is this is on you. It's a community, community effort, you let's call it. Now, inside. now even without the sub goal, it's a community Something effort. There's no way I, I would discover I all this stuff alone. I was not the only one. No fucking way. Like me. In other places, other universes. There's people in other universes so also to, working on this game. All so that's good. The needs of the great ancient. And to have my world spared from eternal darkness. So... Yeah, this could have been a sub 210 again, and it was looking like it. If I didn't forget to, and so it comes to pass. like change my my thingy. Of the three ancients, there... I just want the credits, so I can talk more relaxed. So yeah, I, I screw that. It's fine. It's alright. Like, honestly, I expected like 10 bias fights. <laughs> so when I was getting just one, I was like, holy shit. But, but of course. And then, what else? We got first time restore. That's pretty, that was pretty, pretty hype. The, the restore for back in time. The Michael worked perfectly. It works on console. This is the first time we actually tested on console and it worked. <laughs> no crutches and also it worked as expected. That's cool. What else? Um, 
I guess there, there's like a million places to optimize, yes. Like, the route for sanity and stamina and like what enemies to finish. I just did a like a rough estimation even. I didn't even time that much stuff. I timed some, but it was mostly a, an estimation of, okay, this looks fine. This looks safe and it doesn't look that slow. Okay, so it's nowhere near optimized or anything. Not just from a running per perspective, like I, this is one run, but also from a routing perspective, it's not optimized. But that's fine, it's a challenge. I have fun with it, and I think it's 19 spells. The route says 19. I'm gonna go through the video, hopefully get like timestamps when I upload this for every spell in the run. It should be 19. So it's less than 20. Like the title said, it's not, it was not clickbait. So yeah, I don't do clickbait. Always. <laughs> just, just sometimes. Um, and yeah. Cool. And this is not cutscenes storage, of course. Yeah, because for those who don't know, <laughs> if you allow cutscene storage, then this run is zero spells. <laughs> and that's any percent where regular actually <laughs> is also a zero spell run. But I wanted to do this one because it shows off a lot of stuff that is not shown on other runs. And it's like the... Like if you only restrict that glitch, it's, you know, you, you gotta get 19. Okay? So it's like the, the biggest glitch, the, the glitch that cuts the most in terms of how many spells. And to give you an idea also of how much 19 is, like any person I think does more than 100 spells. And with all the cancels and all that, maybe 120 to 130 or so, I'm not sure. Like I, I think I did that calculation way before Freecast, and with Freecast it's a lot more, usually, so yeah, it's like 120, that's any percent, uh, no CS, and then a casual playthrough, it's probably more than that, I, I'm not sure, casual playthrough might oscillate between like 120 and 150 maybe, or even 200, depending on like how much the player likes spells. <laughs> But yeah, since I'm counting every spell, even the ones that are cancelled, every time we do sanity manipulations with a recovery celota, that's another spell. So it is quite quite a challenge to beat the game on 19, and you saw it, the amount of times I had to watch a cutscene and all that stuff, and how hard the last fight is. So yeah. Cool. I hope you like it. 